let's continue talking about the first. I have 1135 up there this whole time. What in the world? Ugh. 1133. That's the first pace. What am I thinking? All right. I just found that. Sorry, did you catch it earlier? I bet you did. And you didn't tell me. Well, <clears throat> I'm not going to go back and change the video. It is the first pace, 1133. We're still on page T. Um, we're mainly going to talk about problem 25, but I want to quick set up 24 with you. Let's think through 24. It says a boy pulls a sled with a force of 40 newtons on a rope 2.5 meters long. The end that he holds is 1.5 meters above the horizontal, okay? Higher than the end attached to the sled. So I drew a sled here. He's pulling on this rope. Now, if he was pulling even, you know, had a, he was down even with it, then exactly the force that he's applying to the rope would be pulling it this way. But because he's pulling at an angle, part of the force that he's applying to the string, to the rope, is trying to pull the sled up, okay? So part of it's trying to elevate it, and part of it's trying to pull it forward. So we have to resolve it to find what are the two components. And the main thing that they want us to find here is the magnitude that is trying to pull it forward. So we're trying to solve for this part, the horizontal. Okay? <clears throat> so let me just talk you through it, and then I'm going to let you take it, take it and run with it. All right? To find the angle, we know the opposite, and we know the hypotenuse. <gasps> opposite over hypotenuse. Yay! So you can do opposite over hypotenuse, 1.5 divided by 2.5. And then when you get that number, inverse sine, second function, shift, whatever, sine, and you'll know the angle. Then, once you know the angle, and we know the hypotenuse is 40, we can solve to find the horizontal by using adjacent, because this side is adjacent to the hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse. So if I'm solving for the adjacent, I'm going to take the cosine of that angle that I found and multiply that times the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, sorry, 40. <coughs> Once you do that, you will have the horizontal. All right, so this is just helping you visualize it and set it up. Now, you do know, right, if you don't know, let me tell you that in the back of the score key, there is what's called a solution manual. Okay, so in the actual part of the score key where you're used to scoring, it just has the answers, and it might have a little bit of a diagram, but it doesn't show you the steps and how they got the answer. So if you don't get the answer they get, go to the solution manual in the back of the pace, and you'll see all the steps for how they solve that. So I'm not going to write all those up here, because you can look that up after you solve it, okay? But now, let's walk through <clears throat> problem 25. This one actually reminds me a lot of Pennsylvania history. Because here in Pennsylvania, they used to take coal from up in the Pocono Mountains, put them on these boats, canal boats, and then they would have a horse on this walking down a path called a towpath beside the canal, and the horse would be connected with a rope. The rope would be pulling on the boat, and they would try to make the boat just go straight down the canal while the horse is running parallel, okay? So you can see that the rope is at an angle to the direction that the boat is going. The boat's trying to go straight, but the horse is technically pulling at a little bit of an angle. Now, the question is, if the force, the tension in this rope is 1,000 newtons, we want to know how much of that 1,000 newtons is actually trying to pull the boat down the canal. Okay, so we're going to have to resolve that. In order to do that, we have to find the angle. In order to find the angle, we have to use the other two pieces of information they give us, which is the 15 meters opposite and 40 meters hypotenuse. All right, so get your handy-dandy calculator out. <clears throat> we 
are going to, this is opposite and hypotenuse. So we want to do, let's see, opposite, hypotenuse, some old horse, some old horse. All right. So we're going to do the sine. The opposite in this case is 15 and the hypotenuse is 40. So let's 15 divided by 40 and I get 0 0.375. Okay, did you get that? Now, <clears throat> that is the sine, but that doesn't tell us the angle directly. We have to do shift sine of 0.375 to get the angle, and I'm going to round it off to 22 degrees. Are you with me? Okay, make sure you walk through those steps and see how to do it, because you're going to have to do this on the rest of the problems and on the checkup, and the self-test, and the pace test. So I want you to see all these steps that are involved. So we first use these two numbers to find the decimal, which we can then do the second function sign to get the angle, 22 degrees. Now I'm going to work the other way to find this component. The horizontal is, this is opposite, so this is adjacent. So to find the adjacent, well, <clears throat> Adjacent, the hypotenuse is still, is still um, well, now it's a thousand because we're going to use the force, okay? So the same diagram, we're representing both the length of the rope and we're representing the forces involved. So the hypotenuse is a hundred, is a thousand, and now I can do the cosine of the same angle that we found here, 22 degrees. So 22, cosine is point nine two seven point nine two seven and we're going to multiply that times the thousand so i get nine hundred twenty seven nine hundred twenty seven okay now i believe that when you go to check this one I actually have the score key, so let me double check. I think they tell you that the answer is 930. What? How did they get 930? See, and you might think you got it wrong, but when actually if you got 927, you got it right. Okay, because that's what I got. What they're doing is they're saying this number here has two significant figures, this number has two significant figures, and this one actually only has one, okay? So, we have to round the answer to, um, or did they put a bar over that one? I'm trying to see. Thousand, no, nope, they Anyways, they're rounding to two significant figures, so that's how they got 930. But you know what? If you've got 927, don't work it wrong. Seriously. You got it, okay? You got this. All right. I think we should probably... Um, talk about 26. All right, so we'll do another video for 26.